everyone. So in this video, we're going to be looking at circuit symbols. Now, circuit symbols are basically all of the symbols that you see in a circuit diagram. It's important to be able to recognize what they are because on the final exam, uh, more often than not, they're not going to give you uh, a legend to tell you what they are. And there's some common ones that we see uh, time and time again. So it's really good to know what these are. So the first one and the simplest one to recognize is wires. And as you can see, it's represented by just straight lines. So whatever you have a wire in a circuit, it's always going to be a, a straight line. The next two are used uh, quite often. All circuits must have these is your power supply. Now your power supply could either be something like this, which is generated by uh, a box where you plug in your different wire components into it and you can control the power supply. Or more often than not, you'll have something like this, which is your battery. You'll notice that the same structure for both of them is the same. You have a positive terminal, which is represented by a long uh, bar, which is met at a perpendicular line 90 degrees. And you'll have your short bar, which is met at 90 degrees, which is your negative side. Same thing with your battery, you have the long and the small. The only thing that you have is you have just two sets of parallel lines in between, one small, one long. Next thing that all circuits are gonna have is usually a voltmeter. Now your voltmeter, again, is the, the instrument that's gonna be measuring your potential difference. And of course, your unit for potential difference is going to be volts. Uh, the next thing is your amp meter. Now your amp meter is going to be measuring your current intensity. Now again, current intensity is measured in amps. Uh, we're actually going to be spending a video looking at your voltmeter and an amp meter at a later time and how to set them up. Now, most circuits are going to have at least one of the following elements. A light bulb. Now, light bulbs actually have two symbols. They have this, which basically looks like the filaments of an incandescent light bulb, so the old school light bulbs, or just a cross. Both of these are accepted symbols for light bulbs, and it's really good that you know how to recognize both of them. You have your switch, so this basically controls if you have an open or closed circuit. Now, this is the more common type of switch. You'll also ha sometimes see a double switch, and basically a double switch is basically a switch that will go from one path to another path. So depending on where the switch is, you have uh, one particular path closed over another path. Then we have a motor, which is basically a circle with an M, a resistor. So this is anything that is plugged into your circuit that resists the flow of electrons. Uh, a buzzer, which is basically very similar to your motor, except having an M in the middle, it would have the word buzzer in the middle. So these are basically your basic circuit symbols that you need to be able to recognize. And when you're drawing a circuit, you will have to use these symbols. Hope this helps. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at how to plug in a voltmeter and a nanometer in a circuit.